So we know that kids about four and younger really have a hard time distinguishing between fantasy and reality. After five or six, they start to engage in more logical thinking. And getting costumes out and kind of showing that they pretend, putting masks on, taking them off. Uh, really helps them understand that what they're going to be seeing in Halloween um, is, is pretend. change in behavior that can happen when we are dressed up. So when kids are dressed up as something else, they can tend to take on the identity of that person or thing. So kids who are dressed up as a zombie might have a more likely to you know, jump out and scare people or act like a zombie, right? You're going to typically act like the thing that you're dressed up as. The second thing, though, is the anonymity that comes with being in a costume. And we know from a lot of good research that when we're anonymous, we have a tendency to act differently than when we, our identity is known. If you've got children who just don't uh, tend to comply with directions as much, even though they might be a little older, you're not going to want to give them as much, as much uh, independence, perhaps. Anxiety is an experience of, of fear and anticipation. So really important for parents who have kids with a lot of anxiety that they structure the evening differently. They structure those activities differently. Just knowing that there's a higher likelihood and risk for those kids to have a negative experience with it.